The resistance of a component or of a material tells us how difficult it is for electrical charge to flow through it. And different materials have different resistances. So, for example, a plastic, which is not a, a very good conductor at all, uh, has a very high resistance, whereas a metal, such as a piece of copper wire, will have a very, very low resistance and charge can flow very easily through it. Now, we use a formula to calculate resistance and the formula is that R for resistance equals the voltage across the component. That's the potential difference across the component or the, the change in energy of the charge as it flows into the component and comes out. So R equals V, the potential difference, divided by I, which is the symbol for current. Now an easier way to remember this is V equals I times R, or V. And if you can remember it like this, then we can rearrange this formula um, to make R or I the subject for future calculations. So V is the potential difference the potential difference measured across the component. We could measure that with a voltmeter connected in parallel. So we would put our voltmeter across the component like so and connect it. And the voltmeter would give us that potential difference in units of volts. I is the Let's put a little thing on there. I is the current. And the units of current, and remember that current is the flow of charge. It's, it's telling us how much charge is flowing past each second. And the units of that is the amp, or amps. So the shortening is A for amps and V for volts. And R is the resistance. And the resistance is measured in units of ohms, and that has a symbol of omega. So you can get a better idea of this now if we're measuring the resistance. If we find that the potential difference across a component is really big, there's a really big drop of voltage. That means a really big push, if you like, on the charge going through this component. And if we find that the current is, is really small, then that tells us that this big push has only created a very small flow. So the resistance must be very large, must be something like a, a plastic or something like that. So that's the equation for linking potential difference, current and resistance. I would remember this one if you can. And then we can always use that to rearrange to make the other symbols the, the subject of the formula for further calculations.